and here is the tip. Yeah, these are two great defensive teams, and the pace is going to be slow. St. Bonaventure only plays six guys. Duquesne played yesterday. I think it's going to be a really physical, confrontational game. Expect some great defense. It was tough defense right there, but better offense by Chad Baker. Well, offensively, this Duquesne team really shares the ball, but there's no deception. They want to go inside to Weathers and Hughes over and over again. Acuff from the corner. Good to start. Well, he was good yesterday, too. Coach Schmidt called him the eraser. Any mistakes that they have defensively, he just erases. He does a little bit on the offensive side, too. Miss a shot, easy put back. Oshun, Oshuniyi, off to a great start. Surrounded by four guards. As a matter of fact, I think they're the best four guards in the Atlantic 10. Here's a deep three that's a pure shot by Welch. You gotta get that bad taste out of your mouth. Coach was telling us it just makes him feel better to remember he can hit it. Sometimes you need that. Here's another three in the air that is down from deep. Holmes, Jaron Holmes for three. With Oshuniyi holding down the middle with that 7-8 wingspan. Here's Welch. Got it from three. 13-point lead. This is a danger zone right now for Duquesne. I love their ability to defend, but right now, too many open shots for St. Bonaventure. Well, what are they doing defensively as Kyle Lofton hits another three? It's going to be hard to come back against this defensive team. I mean, these guys are so fast in the passing lanes. It's hard to come back when you keep giving it away. Another steal. This time, Kyle Lofton runs the court all by himself and lays it in easily. That wasn't even his rebound. That was out of his zone. And rather than chase it, he just reached over and tapped it in. He would have the second longest arms in the NBA. Forget about the A-10. As Dunn Martin runs one in. The Bonnies have just been great on defense. 11 turnovers. As Okani now able to break that, but 11 turnovers turned them into 17 points, and it really has been the difference. As the, This is where Duquesne has lived before, lived yesterday. See if they can pull one off again. Another steal. Now they can run with it. Okani with a big slam. We got a ball game. Look at the bench in the background. Dan Brock's jumping up. He's pumping his fist. One of the most active coaches in college basketball. And it's a 10-point deficit. And right now, I, I promise you, we don't need this right now, guys. Come on. This has been a really strong comeback. Now you've got momentum issues. There's going to be technical fouls. Wow, what a turn of events. Nice cut by Okani. Hughes has a little space. Won't go. Put back by Okani. Tries it again. Still can't get it to go. Can he tie him up for a jump ball? Now St. Bonaventure has numbers. If they want to use it, they will. That's Holmes going up top. Work this out for a three, and that three-pointer is down for Welch. If he's not hitting shots, if he's not playing his best in the backcourt, we can't win. Dunmartin has three points, and he is 0 for 3 from deep. Now inside to Oshun, and another easy one. You don't want to end this game on a sloppy note. You don't want to be so passive. I think it's important to finish the game strong uh, with How's dunks that? and offensive rebounds. <laughs> How's that do? It will not be a three-game in three-day scenarios. So that was my bad. Here's Attaway. Oshun, another mega slam for Oshun. He's been doing that since the tip at 11 a.m. You have to like guard play in March, and this is a league that is loaded with outstanding lead men. Kyle Lofton is one of them, and they are good enough to win the A-10 tournament.